This operator safety video provides an overview of the safety features and operating characteristics of Toro Zero Turn Mowers with Rollover Protection Systems. It is not a substitute for reading and understanding the complete operator's manual provided with the mower. Compared to a traditional riding mower, the steering characteristics of a zero-turn mower are unique. It is important for new operators to practice and become familiar with the mower's operation before mowing. Always operate the mower safely and be aware of specific terrain and mowing conditions that may affect the handling of the mower. Always wear proper clothing when operating mowing equipment. This includes appropriate work boots or shoes, safety glasses, and hearing protection. Long hair, loose-fitting clothing, and jewelry can easily catch or become tangled in moving parts. Make certain that safety shields and all equipment is in place on the mower and functioning properly. Ensure that tires are inflated to the recommended pressure. Become familiar with and pay careful attention to safety alert symbols, which appear on the operator's manual and are positioned on various parts of the machine. These symbols identify important safety messages that must be followed to avoid accidents, serious injury, or death. Toro Zero Turn Mowers are equipped with heavy duty rollover protection systems, or ROPS, designed to protect operators in case of an unexpected rollover. Keep the ROPS in the raised, upright, locked position when mowing and wear the seatbelt at all times that the ROPS is up. Lower the ROPS only when absolutely necessary such as mowing under low clearances. Do not wear the seat belt with the ROPS lowered and mow with additional caution. Always use the ROPS and seat belt in areas where there are slopes, drop-offs, or water. Return the ROPS to the upright, locked position and fasten the seat belt as soon as clearance allows. If the ROPS is lowered, there is no rollover protection and you could be pinned or crushed, causing serious injuries or death. Proper use of the ROPS will reduce the chance of injury or death in the event of an unexpected rollover. Always operate the zero-turn mower within the safety zone. Knowing the safety zone helps you stay clear of water and other hazards. Stay clear of dangers by maintaining a safe distance of at least two mower widths from drop-offs, steep banks, retaining walls, drainage ditches, and water. Use a walk mower or hand trimmer for these areas. Before mowing, make sure the area is clear of other people. Carefully inspect the area to be mowed and remove any objects that may damage the mower or be thrown by the motion of the blades. Stop mowing and immediately shut off the blades if people or pets enter the area. Be continually aware of the mower's direction of discharge and direct the discharge away from vehicles and buildings. Never allow the discharge to be directed toward people or pets with the blades engaged. Zero turn mowers are designed with rear wheels that provide both traction and steering. These are the drive wheels. The zero turn steering system enables the mower to turn tightly. You must exercise caution and control mower speed 
when turning, even on level terrain. When mowing on inclines, even greater caution must be used to avoid a loss of traction or a rollover accident. Be aware that loss of traction may occur if traveling on wet grass, across slopes, or downhill. Loss of traction to the drive wheels may result in sliding and a loss of steering and braking. Potential loss of traction will vary with conditions such as wet or uneven grass, the mower's speed, and the degree of slope. Avoid sudden starts when traveling uphill because the mower may tip backward. Carefully mow slopes and never mow a slope greater than 15 degrees. Consult the operator's manual for a chart to help determine the degree of slope. If tires lose traction, disengage the blades and move slowly and carefully off the slope. Even slopes less than 15 degrees may still be dangerous. Short hills or less steep slopes can be dangerous if there are hazards at the bottom, such as drop-offs, water or retaining walls. Rollover accidents can occur if a wheel goes over the edge. The ground near water may be soft and unstable, creating the possibility of a dangerous accident. A minimum of two mower widths away from such hazards is considered the safety zone. Remember, any slope greater than 15 degrees is not in the safety zone. Use a walk-behind mower or trimmer in these areas. Holes or ruts in the ground can also make the mower unstable and create potential for rollover accidents. Have a mowing plan and be aware of all hazards. Become familiar with the controls before starting the engine and operating a Toro zero-turn mower. Practice operating the mower in a level, open area so you are thoroughly familiar with steering and all other operational features. Operate at slow speed until you are familiar with all the characteristics of the mower. Exercise caution when making turns and carefully control your speed. Always engage the parking brake before getting off of the mower. On some models, an indicator light on the console illuminates when the parking brake is engaged. Other controls and features of Toro mowers are thoroughly defined in the operator's manual. To start the mower, ensure that the motion control levers are out in the neutral lock position. Move the throttle control midway between the fast and slow positions. Turn the ignition key to the start position. When the engine starts, release the key. To begin movement, you must be in the seat and the brake lever must be disengaged before the motion control levers can be moved inward to the center operating position. Without these steps, the engine will stop as part of a safety interlock system. The motion control levers control both steering and the forward or reverse motion of the machine. Move the levers forward to travel forward. Move the levers backward to move in reverse. Moving the motion control levers in opposing directions will turn the mower in the desired direction. Before leaving the operator's seat for any reason, stop the engine 
set the parking brake, and remove the key. Wait for all moving parts to stop. Never assume that the blades have stopped when the engine is running. Toro mowers have a discharge chute that directs clippings down and to the side of the mowing deck. Never operate the machine without the discharge chute, grass collection system, or mulching kit mounted and in proper working order. If any part of these systems is damaged, replace it immediately. If a discharge chute cover or complete bag or assembly is not properly mounted in place. Operators and others are exposed to both blade contact and thrown debris, an extreme danger. Using certain attachments may affect the mower's stability. Be sure to read and follow Toro's recommendations for the attachment weights and safe operations. When using a bagging system with a blower, remember that a rotating impeller is located within the blower housing. The moving impeller can cause serious injury. Never reach into the blower when the engine is running. Disengage the PTO. Stop the engine. And wait for all moving parts to come to a stop before removing clogs in the blower chute. Do not use your hands to clear clogs and debris. When using the hopper on a bagging system, disengage the PTO to stop the motion of the blades before emptying the hopper. Close and latch the hopper door before continuing to mow. Do not engage the blades with the hopper door open. Mower safety extends to proper maintenance, transport, and storage of your Toro Zero Turn Mower. Read the operator's manual thoroughly and refer to it often for information on care, maintenance, and routine adjustments. Use extra caution when fueling and never remove the fuel cap or add fuel when the mower is running or the engine is hot. Only add fuel to the mower when outdoors in a level, open area. Do not overfill the fuel tank. Fuel and vapors are explosive and extremely flammable. Before starting the engine and using the machine, check the engine oil level. Allow the mower to cool before adjusting or servicing the unit. Make sure the mower is cool and clean of clippings and other debris before parking it in an enclosed area or trailer. A hot engine or exhaust system can be a fire hazard especially in an enclosed space. Use only a heavy-duty trailer to transport the machine. Use a single, full-width ramp that does not exceed a 15-degree incline. If individual ramps must be used, use enough ramps to create an unbroken ramp surface wider than the unit. To avoid tipping backward, do not suddenly accelerate while driving up a ramp or suddenly decelerate while backing down a ramp. When transporting, stop the engine, engage the parking brake, remove the key, and close the fuel shutoff valve if present. Securely fasten the machine to the trailer. Toro cares about operator safety. Stay alert, follow all instructions, and use common sense. With proper use and care, 
your Toro Zero Turn mower will provide years of safe, dependable service. Thank you.